Now, this is a very exciting thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you guys the next encoder because not everybody wants to spend $2,000 on the start and $450 a year just to have the highest level of streaming. Not everybody wants to. I mean, everybody wants to. Not everybody can. Let's say you only wanted to spend like $1,000 and no annual license fee to stream pretty great quality. Um, my favorite encoder, you may have read my blog post of what my favorite encoder is, that meets all of these criteria is the Matrox Monarch HD. Matrox Monarch HD. So the Matrox Monarch HD is $995. It includes the encoder with unlimited use. Now, you may remember me harping on HDMI as the amateur version. And it's true, the Matrox Monarch HD only has HDMI in and out. But if you wanted to add an SDI channel and the ability to stream to multiple locations at a time, two. Two is a multiple, right? So the Monarch HDX can take SDI in and can stream to two different locations. In fact, it's got two SDI inputs, so you could use one box to stream to two places, two different feeds, or one feed to two places, however you wanted to do it. Something else that's cool about the Matrox Monarch and the Monarch HD is you can record, right? So, you know, when ProRes came out, everybody had to record in ProRes because you can record 240 megabits per second and so much data. But when the internet came out with its video line of video streaming, Big 240 megabit per second data didn't really serve our purposes. We wanted 6 megabits per second, or maybe maximum 30 megabits per second. Well, <laughs> Matrox Monarch came out and said, if you don't want to record any more than 30 megabits per second, then we are the encoder for you. Because in addition to however many streams you're streaming, you can also record either to a USB drive, or to an SDHC card, or to a network location. Right? Just since we're connected to the Ethernet already, why not write your files to a shared network drive? H.264 in an MOV or in an MP4, anywhere from 300 megabits per second to 30, anywhere from 300 kilobits per second to 30 megabits per second. So if you're done with very large video files and what you want is very small video files at very high quality, ready to upload to the internet, for instance, or to share with your friends on SDHC cards, check out the Matrox Monarch HD. What do I mean by check out the Matrox Monarch HD? Well, we sold so many of them that we're sold out of them. But my friends at Matrox have made their own unit available to us on the internet. So check this out. On my laptop, I plugged in the IP address of the Matrox Monarch that's located in Montreal, Canada. 138.11.0.13, that's their demo system. I have logged in for configuration of a Matrox Monarch HD. I'd love to have one on my table, but as it, so, as it turns out, they're too dang popular. Um, I have ordered some replacements, so if anybody wants to order one from our Facebook shop, go ahead and place that order and we'll get it delivered to you. Point being, there's a Matrox Monarch up in Canada that I can control. And what would I want that Matrox Monarch to do? Stream to my Facebook page. So, we go to my Facebook page, we find the stream key. Do I need to copy the URL? Probably not, because it's the same as it ever was. But I will go ahead and copy the stream key. Now let's take a look at the Matrox Monarchs interface. I went to my settings page. Let's go to my streaming settings. What should my uh, ratio, uh, my, what should my resolution be? 1280 by 720. Now, if the video input is 1280 by 720 and it's 60 frames per second, is that slow enough for Facebook? No. no. What do they want? 30 frames per second, so I cut my frame rate in half, and that should be exactly right. All right, what's our target bit rate? 4,000 kilobits per second, AKA 4 megabits per second. All right, now we get to the crux of it. What is my stream name? That's my, uh, ooh, let's go to RTMP, sorry. My stream name is this thingy that I copied. My server URL. It's the same as it ever was. It hasn't been entered in this Matrox Monarch yet, so in fact, I did have to copy it and paste it. But I could save this as Jesse Facebook, and select a profile, save it so that I know this will be filled out the right way. The only thing I would have to change if I wanted to stream to a, a different Facebook event is the stream name. I know my resolution stays the same. I know my, my frame rate and my data rate stays the same. I know the server URL stays the same. The only identifier for a unique Facebook stream is the stream name or the stream ID. With me? So if I wanted to, let's hit apply. Check this out. I'll go to control. I'll hit that stream button. 
and now whatever Canadian camera they have plugged into this Matrox Monarch HD in Montreal is going to show up right here in my Facebook event. Uh-oh, it's live now. <laughs> uh, we ran out of our 10 minutes, and so our preview became live. But that's cool. Look at this guy. He's a chemist. Uh, or perhaps a biologist or other otherwise scientist. We know that for sure. Okay, so the Matrox Monarch HD. What's cool about it? Nine ninety-five, thousand bucks, and you're streaming for the rest of your life. I'd like to take this opportunity again to thank everybody for participating. Thank you in Facebook world. Thank you for asking your questions, watching. Thank you to my friends who came all the way to Midtown Video to watch this seminar with us. If you guys have any questions, we are so happy to answer them. We are the professionals at streaming video, even if it's going to Facebook. Buy your encoders from us, get free tech support, and take your live events to Facebook Live events. Thank you, everyone, for watching.